the real reason you should be automating your work that no one is talking about. The other thing that you should consider automating, and I've alluded to it before, are the types of tasks you're procrastinating. For example, I used to teach this class of kids and when they wanted me to get a sub, I was supposed to email the person. Well, I'd say I should do it and then I wouldn't know what to say and then I'd end up avoiding it until it was like almost so embarrassing I wanted to cancel my trip and end up teaching anyway because I had wasted so much time just not sending off a simple email to ask for a sub. It took a ridiculous amount of my brain space and a lot of my energy procrastinating. So what I did was I created a shortcut, again, that just sends off the email. It says, hey, could you get a sub for me? So you didn't have to type those words, which are shockingly painful to type. I can't explain it really, but they are. And so now, well, I don't teach anymore, but when I did, I would just send off the email and then they go find a sub and I could do it as soon as I made the trip plans. And then I didn't have to sit around with it weighing on me, taking up brain space and embarrassing me and filling me with shame and guilt. So win-win. So if you're thinking about automating something, prioritize things that will save your brain space in the long run. Those are the things with lots of tiny little steps or things that you find yourself avoiding all the time. Follow for more ways to work smarter with ADHD.